Now, if you guys are familiar with this channel at all, growing up, I was pretty chubby. I did not have hollow cheeks. This is what I look like compared to now having these hollow cheeks, getting international male modeling contracts all over the world. So today, guys, I'm going to teach you step by step how to get hollow cheeks and look just like a male model. Let's get it. The first thing is something I discovered by complete axe. So last summer, I got into a motorbike accident. I almost died, bro. That really screwed up my neck. And it caused me to have forward head posture like this, man. And I noticed recording videos, actually, over time, a couple months with this injury, my cheekbones started going away. I started getting a more round face because the posture. So the first thing is you need to fix your neck posture. So instead of having this forward head posture, or the nerd neck like a lot of you guys have. You gotta go up against the wall and start doing chin tucks each and every day, just like this. I'd recommend doing perhaps like 100 per day and just focus on your natural neck posture, man. Try to push it back a little bit. And this will push us into our next thing, number two, which is mewing. Whenever you fix your neck posture, it's going to automatically fix your tongue posture. So a lot of this comes down to tongue posture. So we need to have that tongue sitting restfully against the roof of your mouth to where it's exactly where it's supposed to be. Now, obviously this is going to completely change your facial shape and it's going to force you to start nose breathing. So look at this nose breather versus the mouth breather, man. It's insane. So if you really want hollow cheeks, we need to start mewing and then fix that neck posture. So naturally everything is gonna be exactly where it's supposed to be so that it can naturally develop. Because you look at any old school ancient skull, naturally we're supposed to have hollow cheeks. This new thing where we are just round and fluffy and like we don't have any definition, it's not natural for humans. This will get you naturally to where you're exactly supposed to be. Obviously the biggest thing is man, body fat, body fat, body fat. But now if you are at a low body fat and you don't do the other things in this video, you still will not have hollow cheeks or you just might look like you do not eat enough food. So it's ideal to be between eight to 12% body fat, just like a male model, man. I've talked about this hundreds of times, how to get lean, how to stay lean. It is effortless. If you need help with that, link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's all diet, by the way, guys. It's all macros and calories. It's not about the specific healthy foods. It's not about any of this cute stuff. Literally just about the macros and then the workouts that you do. Swallowing is a big one as well because these muscles in the cheek, man, obviously, which is what we're going for, a lot of you guys do not work them properly as you swallow. Because we're constantly swallowing, man. Pause, pause, pause. That's what she said. <laughs> after you drink water, after you eat food, you're always swallowing. So a lot of you guys swallow with your cheeks. We do not want to do this. We actually want to close the mouth, close the teeth, and use the tongue. Create a wave as you swallow. This is gonna be naturally how you are supposed to swallow. This will help give you those high cheekbones. Male model hack that you can do to make it look like you have hollow cheeks is to simply bite on the insides of your cheeks. So just like this, where you bite, just like that. So you suck in a little bit, bite. Focus on making it as subtle as possible. And I really believe that the more you practice this, it'll help naturally just suck in those cheeks a little bit more to where overall it's going to be a lot more natural to where you have this aesthetic. Now, obviously a big part of this man is all about the facial definition. And now the biggest thing, man, comes down to two components. Actually, it's going to be testosterone. Now testosterone is down 50% of what it was two decades ago. This is insane. Not enough people talk about this. So we got to get the testosterone levels up. We got to have saturated fats, red meat, butter. We have to be sleeping enough, lifting very heavy weights, which leads us into the second part. You have to lift heavy as well because this man, a lot of this comes down to muscle, those cheekbones, the facial development. This is why you see all these skinny guys. They don't have chiseled faces because they don't have muscle, man. The face has tons of muscles. So like whenever you're straining, whenever you're lifting, whenever you're working the neck as well, you're working those facial muscles. So naturally it's going to help you tons if you just build a physique man boost that testosterone to where the face is going to develop naturally to where you automatically have those high cheekbones you do this with the good posture the low body fat boom and last but certainly not least we have to reduce inflammation and then water throughout the body so the water is easy essentially it's just going to be having the same amount of water every day Personally, I'll just have two glasses of water once an hour. It's timed evenly. I have the exact same amount. And then I keep my sodium levels the exact same as well. You can have high amounts of sodium and still retain a low amount of water in the body as long as it's consistent. It's whenever it's up and down, that's whenever you're going to retain water. And then inflammation comes down to putting your body in a more alkaline state. So lots of ginger tea with lemon, some black seed oil. And whenever you do eat meat, which is going to be more acidic, you want to make sure it's healthier and then you balance this with healthy vegetables 
and then limit the carbohydrates to where the only carbs you're really having come from a natural fruit, natural vegetable, something like quinoa, but keep it very minimal. Ideally, maybe around 100 grams per day, depending on your body fat percentage, your weight, everything, man. So this will help reduce inflammation to where it's gonna flush out any water inflammation to where you have those high cheekbones. I hope this video helps, guys. The link in the description box, one-on-one -on -one coaching, my supplements, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it for today, guys. I love you with all my heart. Peace.